The pilot you are about to meet will tell you he was born to fly, and he would earn the military's highest award for heroics in the sky. But as anchor John Becker shows us, the days that combat veteran endured on the ground may be what you remember most about William A. Gant. As I was coming down in the parachute, I could hear shooting going on. On mission number 130, combat pilot William Gant was forced to bail out over enemy territory in Vietnam and then taken prisoner. You, how were you treated in captivity? There were times that I was scared to death. There were times that it was funny, and there were times that I was glad I made it through. Were you tortured? I, I at times, was mistreated. I don't want to say tortured. Uh, some people would call it torture, but I grew up with two brothers. This Air Force veteran would endure 227 days as a prisoner of war, almost seven and a half months. Did you always believe that you would survive captivity? I had faith, yes, uh, that I would survive captivity. And this is the border area between the two countries. That's why it was shot down. Uh, right along then, the DMZ. Right along the DMZ then had to walk 600 kilometers. He credits training as a Boy Scout starting at age six, right up through military survival courses at the Air Force Academy. And so a lot of the things that I went through as a prisoner, I had been training other cadets at the academy to go through. So I knew that I could overcome anything that they could throw at me. First thing we teach in survival is you've got to have that will to live will to survive, will to get back home. Four days before that fateful flight, William Gant earned the military's highest award for heroism in the sky. He flew an aerial photo reconnaissance run across one of the most hostile territories in Southeast Asia in an unarmed aircraft. The retired Lieutenant Colonel would earn the Distinguished Flying Cross three times over before his capture in August of 1972. What does that mean to you? It means that I was doing my job. It wasn't until months after the bombing blitz ordered by President Nixon in December of 72 that word spread the young aviator from Texas was alive. And this was the first time any of my family or friends knew that I was a prisoner because I had been up until that time uh, missing in action. So they didn't know for almost a year that what you whether you were alive or dead. That's right. The mystery of whether his friend in the back seat survived the bailout wouldn't be solved for three decades. In 2002, the remains of Francis Fran Townsend were finally identified and returned home following a DNA match after they were unearthed years before near the crash site. What was that moment like for you? Proof. That he had died in the conflict, uh, in the airplane crash. Uh, very telling to me in emotion. What should people know about him? That he was a very talented individual, well known, well liked, and was dedicated to what, what he was doing. In 2018, William Gant returned to Vietnam. He saw the crash site where his plane went down, the very spot where searchers found the remains along with the dog tags of his friend. And after almost 50 years, the decorated pilot explains why that trip back was important. It made me just wash away the uh, fears and tears uh, over my backseater who did not make it back. Did the trip do that? Yes, it did. It was uh, healing. Uh, it was very healing. Reflecting on his own life, William Gant points to the service of men and women across all branches of the military, across every conflict faced by this country. They were, were helping live the true life of a patriot. Where would we be without men like you? Lost. At age 76, this veteran pilot still takes flights, no longer at the controls, still in the cockpit, but he says nothing compares to flying in combat. And a sign at his old squadron summed up that thrill. The most exhilarating feeling in the world 
was to have been shot at without result. And that's what I did for 129 missions. John asked if that combat veteran was nervous before he headed to Vietnam. He said, no, I volunteered. <laughs>